folks, Elva Geek back once again with the final, the final video. Uh, just giving you guys my, f the finish to this uh, review roundup we have here. Called a case review roundup, whatever you want to call it. Uh, working overtime, knocking it out, doing it for the birthday type of thing. Because I need to get up and get out and go do that, handle that type of stuff. But uh, first I want to make a, a little comment. Uh, in regards to something I said in the review for the Thrustmaster Uncharted case. Uh, one thing I was saying is that when you actually open this up, the soft bottom here uh, would be a problem, but now that I actually think about it, how many times, I mean, there's not many times where you drop an accessory, where you, where you drop something and it falls like straight like that. Usually if it falls on the sides or the bottom or things like that, it'll be um, protected because there's major padding in here and everything on the sides will be protected just fine but it's going directly in let's pick the winner this is a winner by my by from what I believe uh, based off of the the quality uh, just overall protection uh, has a pretty decent look um, and uh, it's pretty affordable being that it's twenty dollars right now it's kind of hard to find at Best Buy uh, twenty dollars which is a good thing but the better thing about it is, is I believe this exact case is about to be uh, released at GameStop on May 1st uh, you can look it up on their site it says PS Vault case or something along those lines but it'll probably be a little bit easier to find uh, at GameStop than it is at Best Buy because the Rocketfish vault case is something that I've actually tried to help other people find and they're hard to find in any kind of capacity I've looked in like a whole bunch of different places so um, yeah just going back to it uh, for, for some people that are, are very protective of their screen you have the little microfiber microfiber flap right here uh, the three game cartridges and the memory card slot um, actually locks. That's another thing I love. I mean, and it's 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 pretty cool, and it kind of gives you that feeling when you actually tap it. That if something happens or something happens, like you drop your case, uh, this thing is gonna do just fine. Your 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 Vita purchase, your you know your two hundred and fifty dollar, three hundred dollar, whatever you paid for it uh, purchase is gonna be fully secure, and that is one thing I love about carrying this case is this, that I know that if something happens to it it'll happen to the case but my system will work just fine so that's it guys that is the end uh, as far as the case that I've been using as of late I've been using the Thrustmaster VIP case um, when I drive and I just carry my games separately uh, mostly because I can just pocket my Vita when I actually use the VIP, uh, the VIP case but it's neither here nor there but for, for the, the general consumer that just wants great protection in a great case the case that you're going to want to get is the PS Vault case. Like I said, May 1st, it will be, is, is at least from what uh, the GameStop website says, uh, May 1st, it will be released at GameStops for $20. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks. And it's time for me to get ready to work on my damn birthday. <laughs> Whatever. All right. I'm out. Peace.